Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel again. This is Bhupesh. So today we'll be talking about how we can create alerts in Grafana and can get the notifications to our mailboxes. So there are basically two kinds of alerting that's possible in Grafana. It's alert mania based alerting and the Grafana based alerting. But today we'll, today we'll be talking about the Grafana based alerting because the first one we saw when we were doing Jira integration in our previous videos in the same playlist. So these are the quick recaps that we have done so far. We did Grafana setup, we did Jira integration so the tickets can create it in Jira directly with the alerts that are being generated by your Prometheus stack helm chart. And then we did understanding of prompt QL queries so that we can understand time series data. And then we did a detailed analysis how we can create dashboards in Grafana and what are the different methods we can do it. And finally, we did a lock key prompt tail installation with the same helm chart so that logs can be also shipped uh, in Grafana along with the metric. So this is what we did earlier. Now we quickly see how Grafana based alerting can happen in Grafana. So quickly jumping on to the practical implementation of it. So this is my you know Grafana URL which is already being put forward and it is up and running. So I'll come here. This is the alerting rules. So you can see this is the home page. I can see the Grafana under Grafana there are no rules but under Mimir Cortex and Loki there are a lot of rules. So these rules are coming from where you can ask that question. So these rules are coming from a cube Prometheus stack helm chart. And if you just expand this folder, I've already expanded it for you. Under that, there's a template folder. Under template, there's a Prometheus folder. Under there's one more folder called the rule 1.14. So all these rules are coming from here. See. So if I just take any one particular example, like this one, okay. It should be a description also for this. Yeah, the name. So all these rules are here. You can just select any other rules. So these rules are coming from the helm chart. I can create another YAML file and then create a rule using a runbook. But today we are not going to discuss about this field because this is already coming. Today we'll be discussing the other part, how to create rules in Gifan and then send it to a mailbox. We'll create a alert directly and we'll give some name test. Uh, Grafana alert. Okay. And this is a Grafana Benis alert, so that is fine. I'll just take one query which is actually failing and I can simply create an alert on this and it's run query. I just delete this. Yeah, it is firing. Now come on to this folder. I'll just create a Grafana alerts folder and then another group. Yes. Grafana group. Okay. We'll just enter so that the group will be created. Now it will evaluate every one minute for, for five minutes and then you can give summary, test summary, test description. Okay. And then we'll come here. Now this is like a notification signal. I'll explain how it is important. I'll just do alert label. And then I'll give a Grafana label. Okay. So these labels will be used. So I'll just quickly save it. Now you can see the Grafana under this. Uh, earlier there were no rule. Now we are having able to see Grafana alerts folder and then there's a group folder, test Grafana group. So I can create multiple alerts within the same group within the same folder, or I can create one alert per group within the same folder, right? So yeah, this is the alert that has been created. I can simply do edit also. And then see now this is the label that I was talking about. Alert equals to Grafana. How this label is useful. Now I'll come on to the, now this alert is created. Now I'll come on to the contact points. Okay. Now let me delete this thing. I'll create a, uh, used in more policies. Okay, let me create a new, add new contact endpoint. So we'll create this Grafana alert. Fine, and I want to integrate with. So there are a lot of integration mechanism. So either you integrate with Alert Manager or you do a integration with the Teams, or you can send it to Slack, or you can create a Teams Slack as you can create a webhook. So yeah, we'll be talk, talking. We have already talked about webhook integration with the Jira Alert, but yeah, suppose I'm, I want to send an email directly whenever the this is getting breached. Okay. And then I'll save this contact point. Now this is my contact point test of Grafana alert. Now what I'll do, now contact point has been written. I will create go to policies, notification policies. 
there is there's already a policy created for this i'll just delete this policy if can be deleted yes policy has been deleted i'll create a new policy label was alert grafana right now what is the benefit for this so whenever this label is being captured in that any any of the alert so it will directly come to this notification policy and then this policy is being tagged to this okay that's what and now we'll go to contact points and we'll edit this notification settings no need to do anything here I'm fine again i'll come here now alert equals to grafana will go to yes let me edit this yeah i need to add contact my sorry this was this so yeah this is the one so how it is being linked now my label is being linked to this notification policy and notification policy is linked to this uh this contact points so test grafana alert so so whenever this alert is getting fired it will go to this notification policy it will come here and then it will go to contact point and then then the email will be triggered now ideally email should get triggered but what will happen if you see I'll do a test i'll do a test notification ideally the email should come to my gmail but it will not come i'll tell you why because it will give you this error and this is a very pretty nominal error if you are working on a grafana cloud then they already setting up smtp server for you but since it is on open source to grafana this smtp needs to be configured so that you can get email on your mailbox so we'll be we'll be doing a quick another 10 minutes of uh, you know session for this uh, smtp server configuration in in next session but yeah this was something more about how to create alerts and how to you know con connect that alert to the notification policy and to a particular contact point just a quick recap what we did uh, we created a grafana based alert and then we tagged that alert to a particular label you can see label was there alert equals to grafana and then that label was tagged to a particular contact point see and if i edit this Okay. First of all, we created the contact point, and then we we went to the notification policy. We created new notification policy, and then if you if I added this, so this contact point was added to that. So ultimately, uh, alert uh, equal to Grafana label will be searched, and then it will go to this notification policy, and ultimately it will go to this just Grafana alert. So that is how it goes from uh, you know alerting to notification. So yeah, that is what is there are two kind of alerts. One is Grafana based alert, and there is Prometheus based alert, alert mania based alert. So, yeah. So, I think that is what I want to explain. So, if you have any, you know, questions and queries, maybe post into the comments. But yeah, that is pretty much. So, next session is very very important. We'll be doing a SMTP server configuration where the all the alert, you know, alert, you know, can be sent to your mailbox directly. So earlier we already see Jira ticket, but we'll see the mail server integration in our next session. So, thanks for now. See you in the next session. Thank you. Bye-bye.